Tiger fans, you're now tuned in to Tiger Rag Television, your source for the latest in LSU sports, in-depth game analysis, engaging interviews, and all things Tiger Nation. It's time to talk some LSU sports. Let's get ready for your Tiger Rag hosts, Jim Inkster, Chelsea Brumfield, Jeff Palermo, and Ron Higgins. This is Jim Inkster, and welcome to Tiger Rag Television. We're on the brink of history. Monday night, Louisiana Superdome. It's LSU and Clemson, two unbeaten Titans facing for the national championship. The countdown has begun. Ron Higgins, Tiger Rag editor, and Jeff Palermo, news and sports director for the Louisiana Radio Network, will talk about it. And we'll hear in our Crossfire segment, Collis Temple, the great LSU basketball player, with some thoughts about football then and now and Ron Richard, the general who headed the Tiger Athletic Foundation through two national championships in football, gives his impression about this year. All this coming after this brief pause on Tiger Rag Television. Are you ready for 2020? Well, your friends at the East Baton Rouge Parish Library are, and we want you to get focused and share in our 2020 vision. It's your opportunity to explore the world through books and digital resources and discover amazing opportunities for your career. Enjoy universal access to information, engaging cultural activities, spaces to meet, grow, and innovate. So what are you waiting for? Stop by any of our 14 convenient locations or visit us online at www.ebrpl.com. Looking for fun in Baton Rouge? At Celebrity Theaters, you will experience the highest quality of family entertainment in the Baton Rouge area. Come experience luxury recliner seating in 10 auditoriums, including the two premium large format auditoriums with Dolby Atmos sound for every huge movie release. Plus, enjoy a full arcade. Celebrity Theaters is located at 15365 George O'Neill Road in Baton Rouge with locations in Broussard and Ruston, Louisiana. Tickets can be purchased in advance and your next event can be scheduled at CelebrityTheaters.com. Come join us at Celebrity Theaters for family fun and create lifelong memories. Hey guys, are you looking for a great haircut tailored just for you with an awesome atmosphere and stylist that will treat you like a king? Well, look no further. Just For Him Haircuts has got you covered. And for a limited time, get $2 off all haircuts from participating Just For Him Haircuts locations. Whether it's an amazing haircut, shave, or beard trim, we promise this isn't your grandpa's barber shop. Stop by one of the convenient locations to get treated like a champion or visit JustForHimHaircuts.com for more information. Hey everybody, this is Troy Lander. I'm standing here with my good friend, Joey Dolman. We had the newest car dealership in the Greater Baton Rouge area. This is AJ Doman, Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Come see my good friend at AJ Doman and Plaquemine, and when you do, tell them shoot them sent you. Tiger Red Crossfire. Welcome back to Tiger Rag Television. And in our Crossfire segment this week, we've got the inimitable Collis Temple, the first African American to play basketball at Louisiana State University. Obviously, he's a versatile guy. We got him off the golf course today. You sure pulled me off that great City Park golf course, man. You know, that deal was founded in 1928. I love that course. It is a great course. Even though some people want to get rid of it, I'm glad it's still there. Well, I think we're going to keep that place. Man. And you, you it's, live it's down the street. Right down the street, right after Dalrymple. I've been going to this course for, for, for 40 years, man. It's a good course. It's real tight. You got to be able to hit it straight. So that means I lose a lot of balls, but I keep trying. <laughs> well, Carlos, a lot of folks now are talking about football. Uh, you might play a little golf every now and then, but the topic of conversation that predominates is about football. Have you ever seen anything like what's going on now a few days from the championship game? Well, clearly, I went to LSU in 1970, and I kept up with it before I got there. I watched Pat Screen play, and I watched Nelson Stokely play. And so I guess I've been following LSU football for about 57 or 58 years. And, uh, and this is a grand event that's about to take place on the 13th. Uh, never before have we had obviously a Heisman, a national championship, mm -hmm. a true national championship whereby is an undefeated team playing the top teams in, 
and beating the heck out of them. So it's a real special time, I think, in the uh, in the laurels of Louisiana State University football. Yeah, the last time there was an undefeated LSU champion was 1958. That's 61 years ago, and LSU is. 15 and 0 if they win this. Uh, Nick Saban's never been 15 and 0. Your good friend, uh, he gave LSU its first championship in 2003 since 1958. I'm sure Coach Saban will be watching this game with interest. Nobody will ever question whether or not Nick is like the super coach. I mean, clearly he has made his mark everywhere he's gone. He's had tremendous success. Uh, he's a phenomenal coach. But this feat that uh, Coach Ogeron is about to pull off, we hope, uh, will be special and will never be forgotten. Well, it's a magical season, but you know as well as I do that if LSU were to lose, it would be disastrous. Well, it would be tough, but still, we've done, uh, he's done a tremendous job, Coach, Coach O has, and the players have, have, have been you know, really, really uh, outstanding. And I think that... Uh, if by happenstance they don't win, uh, we still will have can 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 go down in history as as being the SEC champion, undefeated, and so forth and so on. But we need to get this thing done against uh, against these guys out of South. Don't want a repeat of 2012, January 9th, 21. Nothing don't going do, like that. Don't want to do that. Don't want to do I that. I think LSU will get more than five first downs this time. Well, when you have that spread offense going like like we like we do, and, and Joe Burrow being able to complete the passes, and the guys Jefferson and the other crew catching like they catching like they catch, uh, I think it's a special uh, special team. Carlos Temple was was recruited for the NFL, if you will, and actually drafted. Uh, Dallas Cowboys scout Gil Brand had his eye on you. You were timed in the 40, and uh, you were drafted. And uh, did you give any serious thought about playing professional football? I thought a little bit about it, but uh, Detroit was a real cold place. So Detroit <laughs> Lions, they talked about you know me coming up playing tight end or defensive end. Uh, sort of pattern patterning things after uh, uh, Too Tall Jones in Dallas, but that wasn't that really wasn't for me, you know that that cold cold weather and and, and the grind of, of of football. So uh, I, I decided I wanted to stick with this basketball piece. But at LSU, when you arrived in 1970, there were no African Americans on the football team. We talked about this last time. You're the first African American in basketball, and the campus probably had fewer than 100 black students, and uh, Charlie McClendon was concerned about you, wasn't he? He was a nice fella, Coach, M Coach Mack, three yards in a cloud of dust. <laughs> he, uh, he had a little interest in me playing basketball to be, I mean, playing football to be candid, but Coach Maravich wasn't going to have any part of that, and as the discussion flowed along, you know, it was about, you know, me playing basketball and staying healthy and staying in school. I think we can talk. We can talk about it. A lot of years have passed, but uh, he was concerned that uh, interracial couples might not be received well it, in those days. It was a different time, clearly a different time, and uh, and Coach McClendon had a little had had, had some concern about that situation uh, because it was just an imagination. It was a figment of a, of an imagination. Uh, uh, I was walking young lady to class with a couple other guys. In fact, one of one of her. Boyfriends, we were all friends leaving Bruce Art Hall, and he had, uh, I guess he'd been given some information that uh, that, that was taking place, and so he, he questioned me a little bit about it, but it all worked out, and, and, uh, and you know, things moved uh, like they should have moved, which means I graduated and, and, uh, and had a fairly decent athletic career. So it was a figment, not a pigment of the imagination? <laughs> we're going to let... The, Sleeping dog laugh. <laughs> okay, well, okay. LSU is right now, you would think there was all kinds of upheaval. The, the chancellor and president's gone. The head of the foundation's gone. The head of the alumni association's gone. What's going on in Tigertown well, right some, now? Well, some people would just say the stars are aligning. Uh, there, there appears to be a movement towards bringing folk who have had uh, a lot of input and who were, I guess, uh, b born and bred in, in Tiger Town. I mean, Scott Woodard, who's clearly doing a tremendous job. A lot of people are, are, are really feeling his, uh, his presence and, and, and it appears that, that there's a lot of welcoming 
continuing to go on. He's sort of in a, in I guess a, a honeymoon period, and it's an amazing honeymoon because when when the Tigers win in football, everybody is 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 extremely happy. And uh, in the in the past, the past guy who was athletic director, uh, to be candid, he was responsible for putting all this stuff together. It appears the basketball is doing pretty well. The football is doing super. And so when that goes on, you know, everybody is happy. And, uh, but the truth of the matter is the, the stage was set before Scott got here. Mm-hmm. But Scott, Scott's doing, I think, a great job. And, of course, King Alexander, the president, he's moving on. Uh, and there appears to be a lot of movement to try to get somebody – Who's uh, uh, who's out of the family, a part of the LSU family, and so it's really interesting to see what's going on right now. Well, with Joe Oliva, who you were alluding to, it truly is out of sight, out of mind. He's the forgotten man. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, he is. He he came from uh, he came from Duke, and uh, and I think I, I would imagine that Joe is probably in a in a permanent retirement stage. I don't imagine he's going to look for any more fire to jump into. I think he's still on the payroll at LSU as a fundraiser, but I, I haven't seen him around campus too much. A fund F-U-N-D or a fun F-U-N <laughs> raiser. I mean, this can go either way. Yeah. Well, there are some board openings coming open for the LSU board, and Collis Temple's name has been mentioned more than a few times over the years as a possible LSU board member. Would you be interested in that? I would be, uh, I'd be thrilled just to be given some consideration for that. Uh, I think it would be a, a monumental opportunity for, for me. Uh, LSU has done uh, some tremendous things uh, in my life for me on a personal basis. And of course, uh, you know, I, I made a commitment a long time ago to be a, uh, an LSU alum guy who's going to you know, be concerned about putting back and making sure that things work in the best interest of Louisiana State University to make it number one in every aspect. Uh, and so, uh, yes, I'd be interested in being a part of the uh, that family, that, that family of board members. Collis is a member of the LSU Hall of Distinction. He also is a member of the Athletic Hall of Fame, having your degree. And you've been around LSU now for almost 50 years. Next year will be 50 years since you came to Tiger Town. And the person who recruited you not only was Press Maravich, but Governor John Julian McKithen. John McKithen. Big John. Won't you help me, please? <laughs> good man. Good man. Special human being. Uh, I had the, you know, I had the, uh, the honor to go in and speak at his funeral up in Columbus. Columbia. Columbia. And uh, he was really a nice man. I mean, when you talk about a true LSU Tiger and a support guy for Louisiana State University, he was, uh, he was one of the great ones. And lastly, the governor today, John Bell Edwards, he's from a meet not far from your homestead in Kentwood. And he's probably more active in LSU athletics than any governor since McKithen. He's, uh, he's very active. Uh, uh, Governor Edwards and I attended uh, uh, a practice r- before LSU went to the uh, national championship. I mean, the uh, SEC championship game. We went over to a, to a practice, and I and I observed him uh, give a pep talk to the team. And he sounded like he still got something in him. I don't know if he could throw the ball. He was a pretty good quarterback <laughs> at Amid High, but uh, for sure he's a pretty good pep talk guy. So he. He said all the right things and gave them, wished them luck, and went on over to Atlanta and pulled it off. Your prediction? Monday night, the Superdome? Three three touchdowns. Three touchdowns. Three touchdowns. Three touchdowns. Three touchdowns. Okay. In favor of Louisiana State University. Not three touchdowns in favor of the opposition. Three the way touchdowns it was in favor in of the Tigers. In 2012. Tiger. Three touchdowns in favor of the Tigers. I got you. We're counting on you to be accurate. All right. Thank you, Collison. Thank you. We'll be back with more Tiger Rag Television after this timeout. Well, Jim, um, I don't discuss those things uh, with people that have not been there. 
guys, are you looking for a great haircut tailored just for you with an awesome atmosphere and stylist that will treat you like a king? Well, look no further. Just For Him Haircuts has got you covered. And for a limited time, get $2 off all haircuts from participating Just For Him Haircuts locations. Whether it's an amazing haircut, shave, or beard trim, we promise this isn't your grandpa's barber shop. Stop by one of the convenient locations to get treated like a champion or visit JustForHimHaircuts.com for more information. Looking for fun in Baton Rouge? At Celebrity Theaters, you will experience the highest quality of family entertainment in the Baton Rouge area. Come experience luxury recliner seating in 10 auditoriums, including the two premium large format auditoriums with Dolby Atmos sound for every huge movie release. Plus, enjoy a full arcade. Celebrity Theaters is located at 15365 George O'Neill Road in Baton Rouge with locations in Broussard and Ruston, Louisiana. Tickets can be purchased in advance and your next event can be scheduled at CelebrityTheaters.com. Come join us at Celebrity Theaters for family fun and create lifelong memories. I'm Ricky Hope of Advanced Welding School. I'm committed to investing in this community and its people. Advanced Welding School has a new program designed to cover the cost of your education, and you'll pay nothing until after we find you a job. There's no credit score needed. Call me today to schedule a consultation and to find out how you can get the education you deserve. Advanced Welding School, 667-9797 or online at advancedweldingschool.com. Are you ready for 2020? Well, your friends at the East Baton Rouge Parish Library are, and we want you to get focused and share in our 2020 vision. It's your opportunity to explore the world through books and digital resources and discover amazing opportunities for your career. Enjoy universal access to information, engaging cultural activities, spaces to meet, grow, and innovate. So what are you waiting for? Stop by any of our 14 convenient locations or visit us online at www.ebrpl.com. Need a little something extra added to your cooking, grilling, or just a kick to make your eating experience special? Well, come on, man. All-purpose Cajun seasoning is just what you've been looking for. Created by former LSU running back Charles Alexander, come on, man. Cajun seasoning is just the added touch that will make any meal worth eating. So, whether it's burgers or gumbo, visit ComeOnManCajunSeasoning.com to get some of our delicious seasoning. Come on, man. Welcome back to Tiger Rag Television. Jeff Palermo, News and Sports Director of the Louisiana Radio Network. Tiger Rag. Six Pack. Tiger Rag Editor Ron Higgins. It's now time for the Tiger Rag Six Pack. Six questions that I pose to Tiger Rag editor Ron Higgins every week. Question number one, who is a bigger threat for LSU in the national championship game? The Clemson Tigers dynamic running back Travis Etienne from Jennings, or is it the quarterback Trevor Lawrence? Well, I think it's Trevor Lawrence. He makes everything work. I mean, it just uh, the ball in his hands, he's a, a really good op. He's a, proven to be a really good runner. It's like having an extra running back back there. Travis Etienne is a, is a fine football player, no doubt about it, doubt about it. but Ohio State bottled him up pretty well, and, and Lawrence kind of took that game over. So uh, Lawrence, and the problem is, you know, you, uh, you don't want to flush him because he's a good runner. You leave him in the pocket, he's a good pocket passer. It's kind of like Joe Burrow in that sense. Yeah, I think it's a, a great quarterback matchup, obviously, and the the fact that Trevor Lawrence ran the ball so well against Ohio State, that has to give LSU a lot of concern going into this game, right, Ron? Well, oh, absolutely. I mean, you see a guy can take off like that, and, and you know, he's one of those guys when he takes off, he, he doesn't look like he's that fast when he's running, but he's gobbling up yards with long legs and and uh, kind of glides through defense, kind of like kind of like Jalen Hurts used to be when he was at Alabama. I mean, uh, when you saw him at Alabama, Hurts would just kind of glide through the secondary, and before you know, it, he was in the end zone. Well, since we're on the cut topic of quarterbacks, question number two for the Tiger Rag six pack. Joe Burrow, likely to go number one to the Cincinnati Bengals in the NFL draft. Do you think he'll make a good pro quarterback, Rod? Well, it all depends, uh, I guess, what team you get with it yeah. kind of helps and what system you're in. I think he has the intangibles. Uh, I think the fact that he reads defenses really well and he puts the ball where it's supposed to be, 
and he doesn't make very many mistakes reading defenses. He's a smart guy. Uh, I think he's the kind of guy you want in your to run a pro football team. Does he have the strongest arm? N probably not, but you know what? There's a lot of guys in this game who have been great quarterbacks who didn't have the strongest arms. They just knew how to read defenses and put the ball where it's supposed to be. So yeah, I think he'll be a good, really good pro quarterback. My favorite quality about Joe Burrow, I think, is his leadership skills. Maybe not the most vocal guy out there, but we've seen it with this 2019, now 20 team, in that everybody falls in line with what he's thinking and his attitude towards a particular game. I think that's a reason why LSU hasn't had that week off, if you would, because Joe Burrow is ready to play every Saturday. And I think that will carry over into the NFL. Yeah, so it's the way he prepares. He prepares like a pro quarterback, and he leaves nothing to chance. And the other players on this LSU team have seen it. And so they take it that way, too. They prepare uh, because they know their quarterback's not going to let them down, and they need to prepare, prepare just as hard, and they do that. And they have taken it week to week. That's been the secret to this team. They've never looked ahead. Uh, I can only think of one real, one game this year where they really came out and didn't play well early in the game, and that was at Mississippi State. And and uh, but they corrected that and won that game. And of course, you know, the Joe Burrow had a great second half, even though he almost lost his pants. All right, question number three for the Tiger Rag Six Pack. Since you brought up Mississippi State, uh, should those players who signed a national letter intent with the Bulldogs? back in December, should they be let out of that NLI because there's now a coaching change in Starkville? Absolutely. It's like a bait and switch. I mean, I mean, you sign with a guy, a lot, of co a lot of players sign with the program because they like the coach, particularly in basketball more than football, but still football has become more and more that way. A lot of players, you know, who sign with LSU, they, they have a relationship with the coaches, and especially with the coach at Orgeron. A lot of those guys sign with the state because they liked Joe uh, Moorhead. They liked the guy. And all of a sudden he's gone. Yeah, they should, they should do that honor. And then if those guys want to leave, let them leave. I mean, I mean let them out of their letter of intent. You know, and you know, uh, next coach kind of start all over and, and, and get who they want to get. But state knew there'd be collateral damage doing this this late in the game, and so they, they have to pay for it. All right, back to the national championship game as we continue with our Tiger Rag six pack. The over under in this game, Ron, is 69 and a half points. We've sure have seen a lot of points in these national championship games. You think we get o we get over the over in this contest? 69 and a half? I'd, I'd say yeah. it's about right. I mean, I mean, if you're looking at like, you know, 45, 24, or 45, 30, yeah, yeah, I'd say it's about right. I think, I think both these teams have good defenses, but they have better offenses, and I think there'll be some points put up in this game. Uh, there'll be a lot of points. I'll be surprised if there's not a lot of points. Uh, Will these teams get to the 40s? I don't know, but uh, again, it, it, sometimes these, these games, teams sometimes have a tendency not to go conservative, but kind of slow the pace down, as LSU did in the second half against Oklahoma last week uh, in, 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 the, in the semifinal game. Of course, you can do that when you almost put 50 up in the first half. Question number five for you, Ron, in the Tiger Rag six-pack. LS, on LSU's defense, who is the key there for the Tigers? Who really needs to have a big game on Monday night? Oh my goodness, that's a that's a good question. Uh, you know, I'm always. I mean, the way it's gone lately, I I think Ch the whole thing runs off the Caleb on Chase on when he starts pressuring uh, quarterbacks and breaking down defenses. Uh, everything seems to break down, and and, and uh, you know he didn't have time to throw. I mean, you can't give the, uh, you can't give quarterbacks time to throw, especially this guy Clemson, who's just tremendous. I mean. Lawrence can actually, he can hum it. In fact, Grant Delpit was talking about that this week, about how, how well he throws the ball, what a tight spiral he has on it. And I just think you, you can't make him comfortable back there. And I think, honestly, that's, that's the key on both sides. Who, who can protect their quarterback the best will probably win this game. All right, question number six with the Tiger Rag six-pack. So we're talking with Tiger Rag editor Ron Higgins. If something happens early on in this game, Ron, that shows, uh-oh, LSU might be in trouble. What might that be? What what may occur in this in this early part of the game that, or even on the flip side of this? I mean, if LSU's doing something well early on, do you sit there and say I, you know, this is pretty good for LSU? I think if LSU is getting to the quarterback, if they're if they're getting to Clemson's quarterback, if they're making him move, or if they're making him uncomfortable, if they're shutting their, I think defense sets the tempo for this game for LSU. 
I don't think any team, any defense I've seen, can stop LSU an entire game. Auburn did a pretty good job of it. LSU figured it out. But uh, as an Oklahoma game in, in the Peach Bowl in the semifinal, defense set the tempo for LSU and it just kind of rolled from there. I think the same thing in this game. Defense has to set the tempo for LSU to win the national championship. Yeah, and I think probably the same for Clemson. They got to do something defensively, a turnover early, making that, uh, producing that into, or, and, and making that uh, result in a touchdown or a couple of three and outs early in the game, frustrating Joe Burrow if that's possible on the college level. Those are some of the things for, two, for Clemson if they want to have a chance to win in this game. Yeah, you know, I talked to Thad, Thad Moss earlier this the week. He talked, we talked about how, how quickly they figure things out with opposing defenses. He goes, he goes, you know, sometimes it just takes a couple of series, usually one series. And if we don't, you know, get a touchdown in that first series, we come back and when we talk to the coaches upstairs and things are figured out, they figure out things pretty fast. And uh, that's the beauty of, of these LSU coaches of Steve Ensminger and Joe Brady and a, and a third coach named Joe Burrow. Basically, he is a third coach. All right, that does it for the Tiger Rag Six Pack. We'll have more of Tiger Rag Television after this. My mom. My husband. My mother and my sister. My grandfather. My mom. My grandmother, my uncle, and my aunt had Alzheimer's. Everyone has been touched by Alzheimer's. Do you know somebody in our community who is affected? Contact Alzheimer's Services for help. Are you ready for 2020? Well, your friends at the East Baton Rouge Parish Library are, and we want you to get focused and share in our 2020 vision. It's your opportunity to explore the world through books and digital resources and discover amazing opportunities for your career. Enjoy universal access to information, engaging cultural activities, spaces to meet, grow, and innovate. So what are you waiting for? Stop by any of our 14 convenient locations or visit us online at www.ebrpl.com. I'm Ricky Hope of Advanced Welding School. I'm committed to investing in this community and its people. Advanced Welding School has a new program designed to cover the cost of your education and you'll pay nothing until after we find you a job. There's no credit score needed. Call me today to schedule a consultation and to find out how you can get the education you deserve. Advanced Welding School, 667-9797 or online at advancedweldingschool.com. I'm Jim Inkster. We're glad you're watching Tiger Rag Television and in studio visiting with us in the interview segment this week few days before the big game with Clemson is Ron Richard, General Ron Richard, one of the most decorated Americans of his generation. And for 13 years, he was head of the Tiger Athletic Foundation following a 33-year career in the U.S. Marine Corps. Thank you for your service, General Richard. Uh, thank you, Jim. Uh, you're more than kind. Uh, my decorations don't uh, nearly compare to the most decorated uh, servicemen in our country, though. But General Richard uh, fought in the Persian Gulf War, in Vietnam, and he was part of the team that was at the highest levels in Bosnia, and the U.S. won that skirmish without a casualty. So a great career in the military. You could have done a lot of things when you retired after 33 years. You're 55 years old, but you came back home, and we're going to talk about why you did that. But when you arrived at LSU in 1964, General, 18-year-old kid from Basile, population 2,000, the only town in Louisiana that's in two parishes, <laughs> General Richard had to shave his head like all other LSU freshman males in those days. And did you have any idea it would turn out the way it did? No, I didn't. I was, uh, I was excited to be at LSU. I thought I was going to be an all-star football player. Um, but I wasn't good enough to make the team. And uh, therefore, I uh, ended up uh, uh, doing uh, other things with my time, with my free time. Where did you live? I lived in the West Stadium uh, with uh, five other men. And uh, they all flunked out of school. And I came very close to flunking out of school my first semester. Uh, but I managed to hang in there and uh, uh, graduate. Were you in a fraternity? 
I joined a fraternity, yes. And it turned out well for you. And uh, you graduate in 1968. This is at the height of the Vietnam yeah. War. A lot of um, men of your generation, they suddenly came down with bone spurs or looked to go to grad school, but you volunteered. Why did you do it? I've been asked that question many times. And uh, my answer has always been the same from the time I was asked that question in 1968. It was the right thing to do for my country. Uh, my heritage and my upbringing uh, was such that uh, I felt an obligation to do that. And I'm happy I did. And I still feel the same way today. Well, and your service is admirable <clears throat> and uh, the country has benefited from that service. There is no doubt. You were all over the world. And during that time, you remained an LSU fan of uh, the First Order. And I understand you were in a war zone when your first child was born. I was. I was in Vietnam. and. Um, our company first sergeant brought the news to me, and uh, we uh, we toasted uh, the uh, the birth of my uh, my first uh, child, a, a daughter, with a small bottle of um, bourbon that he received on an air, air airline flight when he came back from R and R. So we toasted that myself, the company commander, the first sergeant, and my radio operator from the Bronx, Bronx, New York. I'll be darned. And along the way, when you're in these hot spots across the globe, you listen to LSU games. How did you do that? I bought transistor radios and uh, I had antennas on the fan tail of uh, amphibious ships throughout the world. Um, I would uh, be approached by uh, several people aboard the ship saying, what are you doing? And I'm saying, I'm listening to the Fighting Tigers mm -hmm. play football. Well, you served under eight presidents five Republicans, three Democrats, and when you're serving for your commander-in-chief, whoever he is, uh, you got to go where you got to go, right? But did you ever have any doubt about the direction of the country or what you were doing? Yes. And what did you do? I executed my orders, and I went. And it's not easy to do that, and, and you were in combat. You know, a lot of soldiers, most soldiers are never in combat, but you saw carnage like few people have. You know, it's a, it's, it's a strange feeling whenever you're told to do something that you don't quite understand exactly why you're doing it. But the difference is, is discipline, and the idea that whenever you have to do something that your body tells you not to do, and you do it anyway, uh, that's not courage. It's not hero stuff. It's just discipline. And the Marine Corps instilled that in me, and I executed my orders on every occasion. Do you ever get perturbed when people compare a football game to battle and war? You were on a battlefield with people dying in close combat. Uh, the football's not like that. It doesn't perturb me. Uh, I understand the uh, comparison. Uh, and uh, I don't wake up every morning waiting to be offended, like many people in the United States. Uh, it seems to be kind of in, in vogue nowadays to be offended. Uh, I'm very seldom offended, and it doesn't bother me at all. Well, you came back 33 years, and uh, you could have written your own ticket with uh, being a two-star general. It doesn't get any higher than that, unless there's some presidential uh, activity. Uh, you chose to come back as head of TAF. Uh, why did you do it? Well, I was uh, retiring from the Marine Corps, um, it was before 9-11. Uh, I had been uh, in several commands. And I was nearing uh, my uh, end of my 33 years of service, and I needed a job. Uh, I uh, sought out the uh, position at Tiger Athletic Foundation. They interviewed me, mm -hmm. and uh, I was hired. I thought I would be uh, wearing polo shirts and playing <laughs> golf. 
I didn't realize we had to do all of these building projects. But I enjoyed my time at Tiger Athletic Foundation and uh, I enjoyed my time at LSU. It was one of the most enjoyable periods of my life. Well, the general arrived in 2001. Nick Saban was entering his second season. LSU wins its first SEC title in 13 years, and then two years later wins its first national title in 45 years. You were there. Saban was a game changer, wasn't he? Uh, Nick was uh, an absolute game changer, along with uh, Mark Emmert, along with Skip Bertman. Uh, it was uh, an unusual group of uh, egos that uh, all came together and uh, I found it uh, very enjoyable to be uh, involved with uh, all of those gentlemen. Well, Bertman won five national championships and Saban has won six, so it doesn't get much better than that. And Emmer's now head of the NCAA and his uh, protege, Scott Woodward, is the athletic director at LSU right now. Now, during that 13 year period, all these facilities that have sprung up, including all of the suites, that all happened on your watch. Uh, it did. Uh, the suites uh, on the east side was completed on my watch, and uh, the rest of the football stadium all happened uh, while I was there, along with the baseball stadium, the uh, softball stadium, and the renovation of the, uh, of the PMAC, uh, the first renovation. So a lot of things took place, and uh, it was uh, uh, interesting to see the, uh, the fan reaction to uh, ticket surcharges, uh, tradition funds, priority points, uh, all the things that now uh, seem to be commonplace at LSU. Well, that enabled you to raise about half a billion dollars. That's what it costs to do all these facilities, including the Football Operations Center. Uh, that was your, your baby. Uh, I'm sure you're proud to see that come to fruition. Uh, that was the first uh, Football Operations Center. Uh, now there's a new one. And uh, it's even bigger and better and uh, uh, very impressive. The cafeteria? Uh, I, I was there once and uh, had the opportunity to, uh, to eat there. Uh, very impressive. Is it now uh, paramount for schools like LSU to keep track with, uh, keep up with the Joneses when it comes to facilities? I think it is, but I must say uh, privately, I think it's, uh, it's almost out of control now. Uh, not at LSU per se, but just the culture of the uh, salaries, uh, the cost of uh, mm -hmm. uh, collegiate athletics. Uh, it's, de it's developed into a haves and have nots. Uh, you hear talk about uh, the Power Five having their own mm -hmm. uh, uh, series or, the, or, the, or their own conference. Uh, so it's, it's very difficult to, uh, to understand how and why this thing keeps escalating. But it has, mm -hmm. and it probably will. Yeah, is there any putting the genie back in the bottle? I, I don't think so. I, I don't think so uh, until somebody uh, uh, literally runs out of money. Well, in 1964, when you arrived, LSU was a power then, but uh, it was a much different environment than it is now. It was. It was. Um, I remember going to my first football game as a young boy with my grandfather. We had seats in the south end zone, second from the top mm -hmm. in the south end zone. And uh, then I went to my first football game as a student, and I found that very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Much more enjoyable than <laughs> sitting in the south end zone. <laughs> I hear there was alcohol in the stands. There was just a few. There were a few. Not many, but a few uh, on occasion. Mm. You and I both lived in the stadium, and, and uh, that was quite an experience. Uh, you know, I made my radio debut in the stadium. I lived in the stadium, and of course... Where did, you, where did you live, Joe? I lived on the east side. Oh, you were in the high rent district. <laughs> yes. But uh, you were on the west side. I was in the low rent district with uh, uh, three racks. General Ron Richard now lives on LSU Avenue, a stone's throw from the LSU campus and the stadium where he resided as a student. And we'll find out more about then and now with the big game against Clemson in the offing just a few days away. More Tiger Rag Television after this quick timeout. 
Go Tigers. Need a little something extra added to your cooking, grilling, or just a kick to make your eating experience special? Well, come on, man. All-purpose Cajun seasoning is just what you've been looking for. Created by former LSU running back Charles Alexander, come on, man, Cajun seasoning is just the added touch that will make any meal worth eating. So, whether it's burgers or gumbo, visit ComeOnManCajunSeasoning.com to get some of our delicious seasoning. Come on, man. Hey guys, are you looking for a great haircut tailored just for you with an awesome atmosphere and stylist that will treat you like a king? Well, look no further. Just For Him Haircuts has got you covered. And for a limited time, get $2 off all haircuts from participating Just For Him Haircuts locations. Whether it's an amazing haircut, shave, or beard trim, we promise this isn't your grandpa's barber shop. Stop by one of the convenient locations to get treated like a champion or visit JustForHimHaircuts.com for more information. Looking for fun in Baton Rouge? At Celebrity Theaters, you will experience the highest quality of family entertainment in the Baton Rouge area. Come experience luxury recliner seating in 10 auditoriums, including the two premium large format auditoriums with Dolby Atmos sound for every huge movie release. Plus, enjoy a full arcade. Celebrity Theaters is located at 15365 George O'Neill Road in Baton Rouge with locations in Broussard and Ruston, Louisiana. Tickets can be purchased in advance and your next event can be scheduled at CelebrityTheaters.com. Come join us at Celebrity Theaters for family fun and create lifelong memories. I'm Ricky Hope of Advanced Welding School. I'm committed to investing in this community and its people. Advanced Welding School has a new program designed to cover the cost of your education and you'll pay nothing until after we find you a job. There's no credit score needed. Call me today to schedule a consultation and to find out how you can get the education you deserve. Advanced Welding School, 667-9797 or online at advancedweldingschool.com. My mom. My husband. My mother and my sister. My grandfather. My mom. My grandmother, my uncle, and my aunt had Alzheimer's. Everyone has been touched by Alzheimer's. Do you know somebody in our community who is affected? Contact Alzheimer's Services for help. Looking for superb living in Baton Rouge? Take a look at the charming community of the Elysian Apartments. The Elysian Apartments is delighted to offer nine floor plans with one, two, and three bedroom options. Our spacious floor plans are comfortable and convenient. Explore all of our community amenities, including a business center, clubhouse, fitness center, and much more. Visit AlysiansBatonRouge.com for more information and see why the Elysian Apartments should be your new home. I'm Jim Inkster, and we're glad you're watching Tiger Rag Television, and we're continuing our discussion with two-star general, Major General, Ron Richard, the pride of Bazile, graduate of LSU, 33 years in the U.S. Marine Corps, and 13 years as head of the Tiger Athletic Foundation. And in those 13 years, two national championships in football, 2003 Nick Saban, 2007 Les Miles. What do you think? Is it inevitable LSU is going to win this coming Monday night? I believe that they are going to win. And if I didn't believe that, I wouldn't tell you so. <laughs> uh, no, I, I think they will. I, I think our, our offense is such that, uh, uh, that we will outscore Clemson. Well, Burrow is, seems to be unstoppable, and he's had this magical year, the first Heisman winner since Billy Cannon. You probably remember Cannon. You were a lad of 13 when he won the Heisman in 1959. Did that influence you as a young man as far as wanting to come to LSU? No, it didn't. Uh, I was one of the few people who were not in the stadium that uh, <laughs> witnessed uh, Billy Cannon's run. Uh, but uh, in my later years uh, at Tiger Athletic Foundation and uh, since I retired from TAF, uh, I got to know Billy. Uh, we uh, would share a, uh, a suite together on, on occasion during the football uh, games. And I got to meet his, uh, his, his great 
great uh, family, mm -hmm. and uh, especially his wife. And then, of course, uh, his daughter Bonnie. worked for Tiger Athletic yeah. Foundation. Did a great job. You now have a grandson who is a captain in the Marines. He's a captain select and he's aboard an amphibious ship right now that is part of our uh, reserve for our Department of Defense, especially in light of uh, the current events uh, throughout the, the, the world. Earlier when we were talking about your military experience and some of the hot spots and war zones you've been in, how did that affect you, seeing some really bad things along the way? Uh, you can't be human without it having some impact on you. Well, Jim, um, I don't discuss those things uh, with people that have not been there. I haven't been there. Then we won't discuss it. Do you think it has any impact on uh, the way you look at life today? Sure. Every experience you have that's a traumatic experience affects your life. Um, but uh, people that discuss their experiences in combat zones and close combat, uh, for the most part, uh, tend to exaggerate uh, or they tend not to speak about it at all. And uh, I found that it was best to uh, uh, let that experience weigh on me as an individual, and it is the compass by which I live my life. Well, that's apparent, and it's been an exemplary life, and uh, you've remained uh, an LSU fan true and true, or through and through, and uh, it's apparent that you uh, bleed purple and gold, but after going through that, is life a letdown? No, I have a boat, <laughs> and I, uh, I'm the captain of my, uh, my ship. Um, I'm senior to every person on that boat, and uh, I feel like I'm a general again when I'm on the boat. Mm -hmm. uh, when I'm not on the boat, I'm a private. Uh, seriously, uh, no, uh, life is not a letdown. Uh, I am thankful and grateful, and... Uh, Whenever I, uh, I speak to uh, my God, um, I thank him for giving me uh, a great family and giving me the opportunity to experience uh, a great adventure called the United States Marine Corps and also granting me the opportunity to give me a great experience called LSU Athletics. Monday night, will you be riding your motorcycle to the Superdome? No, I'll be taking my boat to uh, Pontchartrain Landing, and uh, my wife and I are leaving Sunday morning, and uh, we're gonna dock the boat and uh, take a shuttle to uh, festivities uh, Sunday evening, and then uh, take a shuttle to the game uh, Monday. Mm -hmm. And hopefully get a shuttle to go back to the boat. <laughs> well, earlier, Collis Temple, your friend, uh, said that LSU was going to win by three touchdowns. Your thoughts? Did he? Yeah. I'm all for Collis. <laughs> <laughs> go Collis. <laughs> if he thinks that, uh, he certainly has a, a better uh, feel for that than I do. You think it's going to be a close game? I, I think it's going to be closer than that. Uh, but I think LSU will win. Uh, I just don't know uh, to what extent Clemson can generate uh, points. Uh, I'm not that familiar with them. Well, General, thank you again for your service and uh, for being an ambassador for LSU. Nobody's done it better than this man. A half billion dollars in facilities uh, were put up and are now on display for the world to see as LSU stands proud and the Tigers and Clemson face off Monday night, the general will be there, as he should be. Thank you. Appreciate Th it. Thank you. And we'll return with more Tiger Rag Television after this timeout. Go Tigers. Are you ready for 2020? Well, your friends at the East Baton Rouge Parish Library are, and we want you to get focused and share in our 2020 vision. It's your opportunity to explore the world through books and digital resources and discover amazing opportunities for your career. 
Enjoy universal access to information, engaging cultural activities, spaces to meet, grow, and innovate. So what are you waiting for? Stop by any of our 14 convenient locations or visit us online at www.ebrpl.com. Looking for fun in Baton Rouge? At Celebrity Theaters, you will experience the highest quality of family entertainment in the Baton Rouge area. Come experience luxury recliner seating in 10 auditoriums, including the two premium large format auditoriums with Dolby Atmos sound for every huge movie release. Plus, enjoy a full arcade. Celebrity Theaters is located at 15365 George O'Neill Road in Baton Rouge with locations in Broussard and Ruston, Louisiana. Tickets can be purchased in advance and your next event can be scheduled at CelebrityTheaters.com. Come join us at Celebrity Theaters for family fun and create lifelong memories. Hey everybody, this is Troy Lander. I'm standing here with my good friend Joey Dolman. We had the newest car dealership in the greater Baton Rouge area. This is A.J. Doman, Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Come see my good friend at A.J. Doman and Plaquemine, and when you do, tell them, shoot them, sent you. Looking for superb living in Baton Rouge? Take a look at the charming community of the Elysian Apartments. The Elysian Apartments is delighted to offer nine floor plans with one, two, and three bedroom options. Our spacious floor plans are comfortable and convenient. Explore all of our community amenities, including a business center, clubhouse, fitness center, and much more. Visit AlesiansBatonRouge.com for more information and see why the Elysian Apartments should be your new home. My mom. My husband. My mother and my sister. My grandfather. My mom. My grandmother, my uncle, and my aunt had Alzheimer's. Everyone has been touched by Alzheimer's. Do you know somebody in our community who is affected? Contact Alzheimer's Services for help. Hey everybody, this is Troy Lander. I'm standing here with my good friend, Joey Dolman. We had the newest car dealership in the greater Baton Rouge area. This is A.J. Dolman, Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Come see my good friend at A.J. Dolman and Plaquemine. And when you do, tell them, shoot them, sent you. Thank you for watching, and we'll be back next week with more Tiger Rag Television. We'll know whether LSU has won its fourth national football championship in modern time. Ron Higgins and Jeff Palermo will be here, and I'm Jim Inkster. We are the Bible of LSU sports, and whatever happens in LSU sports, we're here to talk about it next week, back same time, same place. husband, my mother and my sister, my grandfather, my mom, my grandmother, my uncle, and my aunt had Alzheimer's. Everyone has been touched by Alzheimer's. Do you know somebody in our community who is affected? Contact Alzheimer's Services for help. Looking for fun in Baton Rouge? At Celebrity Theaters, you will experience the highest quality of family entertainment in the Baton Rouge area. Come experience luxury recliner seating in 10 auditoriums, including the two premium large format auditoriums with Dolby Atmos sound for every huge movie release. Plus, enjoy a full arcade. Celebrity Theaters is located at 15365 George O'Neill Road in Baton Rouge with locations in Broussard and Ruston, Louisiana. Tickets can be purchased in advance and your next event can be scheduled at CelebrityTheaters.com. Come join us at Celebrity Theaters for family fun and create lifelong memories.
Hey guys, are you looking for a great haircut tailored just for you with an awesome atmosphere and stylist that will treat you like a king? Well, look no further. Just For Him Haircuts has got you covered. And for a limited time, get $2 off all haircuts from participating Just For Him Haircuts locations. Whether it's an amazing haircut, shave, or beard trim, we promise this isn't your grandpa's barber shop. Stop by one of the convenient locations to get treated like a champion or visit JustForHimHaircuts.com for more information. Hey everybody, this is Troy Landry. I'm standing here with my good friend, Joey Dolman. We had the newest car dealership in the greater Baton Rouge area. This is AJ Doman, Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Come see my good friend at AJ Doman and Plaquemine and when you do, tell them, shoot them, sent you.